Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Witches, Bats, and Paper Crafts video. Today I have two really cute layered cards for you. This is my Frankie layered card. Isn't he just so cute? I love the little expression on his face, the cool sentiment there. There's a spot on the inside for your message. And of course I include an envelope as well. I also include Frankie's Bride. Isn't she so cute? I love the little uh, spot in her hair. Her little expression is so cute too. Both of these projects are within the download. This particular layered card can be made on any cutting machine, including the Cricut Joy. If you're going to be using a Cricut Joy, you definitely want to use a pre-made card base and envelope. Let's go ahead and grab our materials and get started. Step one, get the SVG cut file. This project was part of Witches, Bats, and Paper Crafts 2023. If you'd like to purchase the individual cut file for this project, you can head to my shop at shop.thebeardedhousewife.com. This project is also available with the VIP Access Pass. With the VIP Access Pass, you get access to all 12 event files plus bonus cut files printable worksheets, and commercial licensing. For more information on the VIP Access Pass, you can head to thebeardedhousewife.com slash WBPC2023. I have both links listed in the video description. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload. Upload image and browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click open and upload. Highlight the image and click add to canvas. Step three, convert score lines and any text. Now that our project has been brought into our canvas, we can go ahead and ungroup the design we need to do some converting to some of the score lines as well as the sentiment here. So let's scroll down the layers panel and find the envelope, highlight the score line, come up to the operation menu and change that to score, highlight the group and attach. We need to do the same thing for the card base, highlight the score line, change that to score, highlight the group and attach. And lastly, we want the machine to draw on our sentiment, so we need to find that layer, highlight the text, come up to the operation menu and change that to pen, highlight the group, and attach. So altogether, we have the score lines converted for the envelope and for the card base, and then we have the sentiment converted to pen. Once those steps are done, we can go ahead and click make it. I'll be using the mat for this project. And you can see the different mats for this card. Go ahead and click continue. I'll be using medium cardstock for this project. I'll go ahead and get everything cut out and I'll see you when it's time to assemble. Step four, cut out the design. Step 5. Assemble your card. 
Okay, so I have everything all cut out, so it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. So the first thing that I'm going to do is layer up our little Frankie character. I do have a layering guide within the download that will help show you how to layer this little guide together. I'm going to speed up the video just a little bit and I'll show you what he looks like when I'm all done. And there is our little Frankie character. Isn't he so cute, ready to go to that Halloween party? Now we can go ahead and mat and layer our uh, front cover panel together. And now I'm gonna attach Frankie to the bottom of the front cover panel. I'm just gonna center him here on the bottom. Just like that. I'll set him to the side so he can dry. Now we can mat and layer our messaging panel together. Now we can take our card base, go ahead and fold and burnish along the score line. Open that card base up and we can attach our messaging panel to the inside. Go ahead and close the card up and we can add our front cover panel to the front. And there is our cute little card. I'll set that to the side for a minute. Now let's go ahead and make the envelope. For the envelope, go ahead and fold and burnish along the score lines. Add glue along the outer edge of the inlay panel. Flip the inlay over and place that over the cutout on the envelope flap. Spin the envelope around, bring those side flaps in. Add glue to the bottom of the side flaps. With your thumbs, go ahead and push up and then press. And then that forms our envelope. And here is our little Frankie layered card. Isn't that so cute? I've also included in the download Frankie's Bride. How fun are these cards? They're super, super cute. I can't really tell which one I like the best. Go ahead and let me know what you think. Aren't these layered cards adorable? I love the little expressions on their faces. It's super cute. I did design these to look like they're going to a costume party. That's why the faces just have like a mask on them. However, if you want to turn them into actual Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein, instead of using a skin tone, you can make both of those layers the green layer, and then that will turn them into the monsters that they are. I hope that you make these cards. If you do make them, I hope that you share them with me. Whether that be through our Facebook group or through email, I would love to see your creations. Until next time, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see you at the next Witches, Bats, and Paper Crafts video. Bye!